hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Zainab and today I'm here to do a DIY video I haven't done one of these before on my channel and I really like doing DIY projects so I just decided to like um, do one for you today and today is gonna be on like a terrarium kind of project so this is what a terrarium is it's basically a glass jar any glass jar that you can put like um, plants in and things like that so all you're gonna need for this DIY project is a terrarium I bought this one from um, TJ Maxx for I think it was like $3.99 so yeah and then you can get any kind of like stone um, I got this when I went on vacation to um, to the Bahamas I brought this back with me and you're just gonna need any kind of sand that you like I like this white um, decorative sand I got this from um, Michaels for like $2.99 and the plants that I'm gonna use are um, air plants they look like these I was first introduced to air plants like maybe a year or two ago me and my friend went to this fair in Brimfield Mass and we saw them there and they were so beautiful they were like the ones we saw there were like way better than this because they were like so many different colors and stuff but I just bought these here locally at my big Y and these are the only ones they had so air plants basically they're like a, a plant that you can like you can leave them out or put them in a jar or anything like that they don't really need to be in soil and they don't need water like that like these are more of like desert plants like dry air plants so all I do is you just soak them in water for like a minute and then you put them on like a paper towel or a drying rack like this like upside down because if you um, keep them like sitting up on the bottom like they will start to rot and you don't want that so yeah so I just soak them in water for like a minute and then you just um, put them upside down to like um, to let some of the water drain out so I just have three air plants here that I'll be putting in my terrarium and these get really big so these are like baby air plants so the ones I saw at the Brimfield Fair they were like huge they were like a regular big old plant and they're you can just hang them up really they had like really pretty um like not vases but they were like air vases or something that they put them in and this one right here this one is gonna bloom to different colors so I can't wait for to see that one so let's get started on this DIY so I'm just going to take this I didn't need the scissors <laughs> and I'm just going to pour that into the terrarium and I'm going to pour it probably like halfway full so you're just going to take that I'm going to put more because I want the sand to be like a lot. Okay. This um terrarium, like the opening is kind of low, so I'm pretty sure that's all the sand I can fit in there right now. And then I'm just gonna kind of like try to spread it out. And I'm just going to go ahead and place the air plants right in there like that. I'll put this one back here. And I'll put this one in the front since it's the biggest. And then I'll just put the rock right here for basically for decoration purposes and for something else to be in the terrarium. 
So this is what it's looking like. They kind of look like little baby cactuses. So. And you place, you can basically rearrange them every day that you want because they're air plants. Like, they don't really like, this is what it's looking like right now. What they look like inside of the terrarium. And I'm probably going to just keep like two in there because with um, three is kind of crowded, but you can basically put these anywhere you want, like on your dining room table, on a nightstand, in your kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like a really quick and easy DIY video that anyone can do really like, and everything is super cheap. Like the air plants where I think for three of them, it was $8.99 for all three of them. And you can find like these stones anywhere. If you go to the beach or even like to any um, craft store, you can find them. And with air plants, like <laughs> I'm really bad at keeping like plants alive. So air plants are the way to go if you want some kind of plant in your house because they're really low maintenance and I don't think anyone can kill air plants basically like if you really don't give a f at all that's when you would kill air plants because they only need water like once a week really and sometimes even not more than that so i think anyone can keep an air plant alive so seriously so i hope you enjoyed this to um this quick diy tutorial whatever but i'll see you in my next one guys thanks for watching bye